how to put your WordPress website on maintenance mode. Quick and easy tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can put your WordPress website in maintenance mode. So often when we are building websites, our website is live as we are building it. And a lot of the times customer or someone just browsing the web can stumble upon our unfinished website, which is often a pretty bad look. So let's say that you're building a website or if you're just doing some upgrades on your website and you want to put it on maintenance mode for a little amount of time, then this is the simple way to do it. Now, you can do this whenever you are trying to upgrade a website or if you are launching new products, often you should put it on maintenance mode because your website is going to, you know, need some time to upgrade your collection and you want to make sure everything is going to be very cohesive and that can take some time. So how do you put your website in maintenance mode? Well, it's very simple. Just head on over to your WordPress dashboard. Once you are on your WordPress dashboard, you're going to see on the left side of your screen, at the bottom, you have plugins. Click on your plugins over here. Once you click on plugins, you're just going to click on add new on the top left of your screen. And once you click on add new, you can see on the right side, you can search for plugins. So you're just going to go into your plugins and you're going to search for CMP. So just go into plugins, go into add new. And once you go into add new, just search for CMP on the top right of your screen. And once you have searched for CMP, you're just going to click on install now. This is the top plugin. It is by Neteo Themes and it is a simple plugin where you can upgrade your website and have it be put on maintenance mode. Now, once you have done that, you're going to click on installed plugins on the left side of your screen. And from here, you can click on activate to activate your plugin. And just like that, your plugin has been activated. Now you can click on CMP settings over here, and this will lead you to your coming soon or homepage content that you can customize. So you can see currently this is disabled coming soon and landing page where it's going to just show you where it's just going to show the customers that you're coming soon. Now, all you have to do to put your website in the maintenance mode is click on enable over here and it's going to be a option. So you can put it on your whole website, you can put it on your home page, or you can whitelist and blacklist certain pages where certain pages could be put down temporarily and certain pages could be up and running. Now you can see I have put it on maintenance mode over here and what you can see that what is going to be the CMP mode. So it returns to the standard version should it be a maintenance mode should it be a redirection mode where if someone tries to open a page that is under maintenance it they would be redirected to another page now i just want a coming soon and landing page and i'm going to click on save all changes and this is just the basic setup now i can click on preview over here to see what the page is currently looking like so you can see this is the simple paid setup now that shows change portfolio something is happening now what the best part about this plugin is is that i can customize the content i show so what you can do is you can click on the content over here and you can set up your logo setup you can set up your main content and graphic backgrounds as well as icons and so much more so to get started we're going to add our text logo which could be a graphic logo and you can upload a logo from your data so let's say i just want to insert this as my logo and i wanted to say instead of it saying something is happening i want to say something along the lines of we are working on our website come back soon so like this i have added a come back soon in the message section and you can even add images you can add embedded code as well and below that you have your background so you can add custom images so you can upload your own images you can set a solid color you can upload from the unsplash library as well as videos so you can source from youtube as well as upload your own videos you can add a graphic pattern as well as a solid color or a gradient color so let's say i want to add a simple gradient color 
and you can see you have multiple different options now once i've done that i'm just going to click on save all changes as i go so i'm making sure that the content changes are saved and now i'm just going to scroll down and you can see you even have CMP themes that you can pick out. Now below that, you also have your login icons that you can choose to disable or enable when your website is in maintenance mode. And below that, you even have social media icons that you can add into the footer. And after that, you even have customization options. So you can customize the font color, the background color, the overall display of your fonts from here, as well as the sizing. And after that, you have SEO and analytics. So from here, you can go on ahead and maintain the website SEO as well as manage your search engine visibility. So you can choose to discourage search engines from showing your site when it is under CMP or when it is under maintenance. So that is another great option where it can help you in building your website and taking your time to build your website while people are not going to be, you know, browsing your website when it is incomplete. Now below that, you can choose to enable Google Analytics or enable your analytics if you want to, to just see how many people are still visiting your website. And then you have some advanced settings as well. Now, you also have things like bypasses in your advanced settings. So certain users can bypass the CMP landing page. Let's say that you want people that are editors on your website to still be able to, you know, edit the blogs or, you know, create their content even when it's under maintenance mode. So you can add the, those specific roles to be able to access the website. Now, you also have CMP bypasses via URL. So if someone is redirected from a certain URL, you can also choose for those people to be able to access the website so you can click on enabled and this will be the bypass URL and people that still want to be able to access the website with even when it's under maintenance mode can access it via this specific URL so that is another option that you can provide to your customers or to your editors or to your writers whatever kind of website it is now you can see over here refresh my website over here so you can see as I added this little logo, we are working for your best experience, come back soon, a simple gradient. You can add a lot more. This is just a simple little publishing page or a simple little wait page that I have created. You can add your own website logos as well as customize it to fit your own website theme or aesthetic to make sure that your website looks as cohesive as possible. So that was it for today. Hope you guys found this video helpful and now your own wordpress website in maintenance mode whenever you might need to i hope you guys found this video helpful and make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave them in the comment box down below and i will catch you guys in the next video